what I'd encourage you to do um, is just to just to close your eyes and just begin to fix your eyes on Jesus just just relax in his presence know that you're a habitation of God and his presence and just begin to focus on your first love gate just focus on opening the door and welcoming in the presence of God within your spirit just feel and embrace the fire of his presence the glory of his presence just let that heat of his presence just embrace you it's the power of his love it's the strength of his affirmation of you let it just embrace you let it just surround you let it just envelop you as you feel that heat within you beginning to burn beginning to increase in intensity And just feel his thoughts of you, about you. We have a choice that we can invite him deeper. He can remain in our spirit or we can open the doors of our spirit that we can surrender to his lordship. We open the doors to our spirit to allow him to flow through them. To allow his presence and the fire of his presence to flow into our soul, to flow into our life, to bring that fire of his transformation to our soul, that he brings the spirit of reverence and the spirit of the fear of the Lord through those gateways to touch our conscience to allow his fire just to purge our conscience from any dead works from any works of the flesh for any way in which we have hardened our heart towards him in the past just allow that presence to come as reverence and the fear of God to touch your conscience to begin to refine and purify it to make it fresh and renewed and made whole so our conscience would be directed by reverence and the fear of God to direct us, to guide us, to protect us as we seek to embrace him and his ways as we seek to let his spirit joined with our spirit flow through our lives to remove every blockage, every hindrance, every stumbling block just allow the fire of his presence to set us ablaze to put a fire on the inside of us to cause our soul to be immersed in the fire of his presence let it roll over you flow over you touch your imagination and purify that screen let it touch the reason within your mind and purify your mindsets allow the mindsets to be transformed and changed and renewed as the fire of his presence flows through let it flow through the gate of revelation and bring fresh revelation to our minds new insight new revelation that new thoughts of him would come 
revelation of our relationship. Every disappointment, every hurt, every disillusionment that we face from the past, that our thoughts in our mind will just be refined and purified by the fire of His presence embracing us. Allow that fire to flow into your mind, into, the, into your heart, into your subconscious mind, where all the memories are stored. Allow the fire of his presence to just purge those memories. Every memory that's a hindrance and an obstacle for transformation just let them be purged. Let the fire run through the memories, the caverns of our soul that have stored information. Let the fire just burn those things which are a hindrance and a stumbling block. Let the fire of God's presence just flow through our soul. Let the intensity increase. It's the wind of the spirit just causes an increase in fire and intensity. As it touches our emotions, as we surrender our hurts, our unmet needs, our unresolved issues to him, as we let the fire stoke up the flames of forgiveness, that we would forgive and release those who have hurt us and let us down and disappointed us, let the fire begin to inflame us and cause us to be passionate and zealous, to forgive and release everything within our emotions and where our emotions have caused hardness in our hearts, just let the fire begin to burn those things, to transform us, to purify us. And let the fire flow through into our will, to that gateway. Let our will where we've been hard hearted, where we've set our wills against the things of God in the past. Let those things be burnt with fire, transformed. Let each gateway open and the flow of the spirit of life, the glory of God that would flow through our spirit, through our soul, to begin to transform who we are, to bring us into fullness and alignment. Just allow the fire of God his fiery presence because he loves us he never would want us to remain the same he wants to transform our lives he wants to purify our lives just let the fire of his presence just embrace us and let it come to that gateway of choice as each gateway leads to choice, that our choices will be purified with fire, that we will choose only His will. Not our will be done, but His will be done. As we surrender our choices to the fire of His presence, that every choice of negative trading, of every choice for our own selfishness, for every choice for self-gratification, every choice that has built us up and has been for our glory and for our honor, that every choice be consumed with fire. So our choices would be pure. That we will be led by worship. It's our worship gateway just becomes wider and wider, that we would bow in obedience and obedience, that we would bow down before our King, that we would take his yoke upon us, 
we would learn from him who's gentle and humble in heart, that we would truly know who we are, our identity, as revealed by fire, pure stones, pure gold, pure silver. And as we truly worship, as we truly lay down our lives before him, that the gateways of our souls would be open to the flow of the life of God, flowing through us, flowing through the gateways of our eyes, our ears, our mouth, our smell, our touch, to create an atmosphere of glory around us, to create an atmosphere of the Spirit of God around us. Let there be a flow, let us be joined in one spirit, flowing to create a spiritual atmosphere that will bring transformation, not just to our lives, but through our lives, around us, to our families, to our friends, to our workmates, to those that we know in relationship, that the fire of God's presence would ignite us with passion and zeal for the transformation that's to come, for the expansion of his kingdom, to the increase of his government, that our lives would be a manifestation of the government of God on earth as it is in heaven. Just let the fire of your presence fill us, transform us, change us. And we welcome you as we take you by the hand, Jesus, to come into the garden of our heart, to come into the secret place where we would be free to creatively release from pure hearts that which you place within us, the deep desires of our hearts, purified and refined. Let there be a creativity that's released within our garden to allow the river of life to flow, to allow the trees and the seeds which we plant to produce abundant overflowing fruit. To allow that secret place. And Jesus would just have us lie down with him in that secret place, that place of rest, that place of peace, that we would hear more clearly, that we would see more clearly, that we would feel more clearly from a purified heart, that our garden would be alive, living, fragrant with the presence Father, Son and Holy Spirit, just allow his presence, the fragrance of his presence, the joy of his presence, the peace of his presence, the overflowing love of his presence as our shepherd to flow around us. we're in that secret place that we can create within that garden to sit with him just talk with him sense the fresh things that he has for you sense the new revelation that he has for you just begin to embrace that fellowship just allow his presence to rest with you Hear his words, a still small voice within your heart. Just see him, embrace him, feel his love.
as you feel safe and secure, at rest and peace in his arms. Just sense the trust. You can trust him, that he is for you. He begins to stir the destiny that's within your heart. He leads you to the place of greater transformation. As he takes you now through the dimension into the dance floor where his light begins to encircle you and dance around you where the revelation of who he really is at a deeper deeper level just begins to dance within your thoughts dance within your emotions the fragrances and the colors just allow the DNA of God, the light strands, just touch you at a deeper level within your spirit, within your heart, to touch you, to transform your DNA, to transform you with light, to impart to your light strand of DNA fresh new revelation of who he is, of eternity, of who you were within his heart in eternity, who you will be within the age to come. Allow that revelation to be imparted. Just let the colour and the fragrance and the frequency and the formulas, just let them come around you. Let them dance within your DNA. Let the words that he speaks, the light waves that come over you, the particles which bombard your DNA, transform you. Just feel it, swirling, dancing. Just let that light touch you afresh. And deeper and deeper within you, carrying the resonant frequency of who he is, who he was, of who he is, who he will be to you in your life. Engage you, capture your heart. Feel that the fragrances of his presence is going to flow over you. Just feel deep calling to deep, calling you back into alignment, calling you back into heavenly harmony, calling your spirit, soul and body back into unity, that you embrace the nine strands of the DNA of God. You embrace the nine stones of the colors reflecting the glory of eternity. Receive those colors into the fabric of your being. The vibrancy, the frequency, the sound and the colors together, transforming you, changing you, renewing you restored back to eternity.